Hey guys, welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. Today I wanted to show you my DIY teleprompter build. So originally I wanted this thing to be a lot more polished than it is before I made the video, but then I figured I could just post this video and then maybe get some feedback from the community on better ways of doing things. So if you guys do have any comments, leave them in the comments filled and I'd love to check them out. So I wanted this thing to be something I could put together with very minimal um, tools, just a little bit of cutting and some drilling. So what I did is I grabbed two pieces of acrylic. These are uh, already cut to size. I grabbed a couple of cheese plates is what I'm calling them. Uh, one is a four inch cheese plate, four by four, and one is about a three by three, I wanna say. And then I grabbed this long, um, just kind of L piece of uh, kind of scrap material or DIY material you can find in the bins at um, like Home Depot or the big box stores. So what I did is I cut two um, roughly 14 inch uh, sections of it. And then I use that as kind of my base or my rails. Uh, and then I use, I put the one of the pieces of acrylic down on here. I drilled four holes. I think you can see them through here. Uh, and attached the piece of acrylic on here. I also put uh, two uh, rubber kind of door stoppers. And this helps uh, whatever device, I'm using an iPad, it helps it from falling off the edge. Uh, and then here is one of the things I wanted kind of some feedback on. I'm using a turnbuckle or a turnstile or whatever. I think turnbuckles. Um, and I'm using this because I wanted to be able to twist this thing and then uh, change the angle of the uh, see-through glass. And uh, this thing doesn't work as well as I thought it would. I also wanted, it's not as rigid, I wanted to kind of just stay there. So um, I'm looking for feedback on maybe a, a better way that I could like uh, have something here that would hold the angle. Uh, and then something I could kind of disconnect and then fold this down like a book, kind of flat and then uh, take it with me. Uh, so then I used hinges for the hinges. These are just small cabinet hinges that I uh, attached onto here. One thing to note is this glass is, or this acrylic is a lot lighter than glass, but it is very fragile. So I cracked it here by starting off drilling a hole of the same size of screw that I wanted to put through here. And apparently that is too large. So you'll definitely want to start with a very, very small hole and kind of work your way up. Then I moved on to the four inch cheese plate. I grabbed one of these little tiny, um, just quarter 20 screw acceptors. And these have three holes here that I attached into the cheese plate. Uh, and that's how I mounted onto my um, tripod plate. I then put another quarter inch hole here for the camera to go onto. I grabbed a quarter 20 thumb screw. This thing is about a uh, half inch long, but it was still too long, so I put a bolt to take up some of the distance. I was using this originally, and then through my testing, it didn't put the camera lens center in the glass, so um, I wasn't able to read the words as well on the teleprompter. So I ended up going back and buying this uh, smaller cheese plate to raise the camera up. But this thing attaches just by uh, machine screws. And then I grabbed some bolts, because what I've done is use the bolts to clamp uh, the smaller piece so it doesn't fall down, and then I've used bolts to clamp uh, against this four inch kind of base plate so that everything is very rigid and nothing moves. Then I drilled two more holes. Original one was in the center here for the camera to uh, attach onto, but then I realized that um, it centers it up better so I drilled a second hole off to the side. So then for the fabric that goes over the top that uh, blocks out the light, I would recommend getting just a black piece of fabric. I cut out an old t-shirt. This thing isn't as opaque as I would like, but it's the only black t-shirt I had to cut at the moment. And I'm just using these standard binder clips. Uh, you can find these at any office supply store or even a dollar store. I'm using these just to clamp the uh, t-shirt onto here. And then the camera, I just draped the piece of fabric over the camera and it blocks out a good amount of the light. Um, this thing is about, I want to say 25 bucks. I didn't add up everything, but it was fairly cheap to build. Uh, the one thing to note though is regular teleprompters use what's called beam splitter glass, which allows, it's like a 70-30 ratio. So 70% of the light goes through and 30% blocks out and gets reflected back to you. 
you'll get really sharp text when you use that type of glass. It is very expensive though. This, you'll get a little bit of fuzziness because you're gonna get reflection from the front edge of the glass and then the back edge of the glass coming back at you. For me, I have the teleprompter app with very big text and it scrolls you know, at a good speed. For me, it works well. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not reading straight off dry. So it is a little bit of a plus or a minus. You uh, save some of the cost on beam splitter glass by going this route, but you get some of the fuzziness. So it just depends on what you want to deal with. All right, guys, hopefully this kind of gave you some idea on how to build your own. Hopefully you can give me some ideas on how to improve this. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments filled. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.